Welcome to my tutorial number four, Redo. It's a remake of my original tutorial number four, How to End a Game by Score or Time Limit. I'm opening the tutorial three, Redo, and you may recognize it, score on it, and this is the using the Flash 8. This can also be done in using CS 5.5. I'll just show you how to get started on that, but the script will be exactly the same, and I will be doing it with Flash Professional 8. In the CS 5, if you don't have this publish tab here, go over here and go publish settings and right here you want player 8 and you want action script 2 and this will work equally well as what we're going to do on professional 8 we want to insert a layer so select something below your action script layer insert a layer and call this game over make sure all the layers are locked except this game over layer and on frame 2 insert a blank keyframe and on frame 3 insert a blank keyframe so I have three blank keyframes in a row select frame 2 of your games layer select your text tool and type this in game over you win this is where you'll come when you've hit all the ships select frame 3 of the games over layer and type this in red game is over time is up go back to your games layer make sure it's selected lock it insert a new layer and call this time time this time go down to your library where we make a symbol and we're going to make another movie clip and it's going to be called time t-i-m-e capital t underscore m-c we're going to call this first layer the time layer then we're going to put two text blocks on here this first one is a static text and it will say time pretty simple time static text our selection tool for the text tool our pick up our text tool again and make another text box make sure this is dynamic text and in here goes two zeros pick up your selection tool line them up to some degree grab them both and let's move them down here just for for now if I want to write text on this script on this dynamic text I have to give it an instance name so the instance name is going to be time capital T underscore txt to let me know it's text at frame 12 insert a keyframe and that brings all this information with us and I chose frame 12 because we're running 12 frames per second and it's going to be a one second loop insert a new frame action script on this 12th frame right here frame 12 insert a keyframe and this is the script you're going to put in there 
time text, capital T-I-M-E underscore text, period text, it's a text box, equals, I'm telling it again, it's a number, just like, like we did with the, with the score, sort of, and it's bracket, an open bracket, it's, you can copy this, copy this and paste it in here, it's equal to itself, close bracket, minus one. So that's going to take one second off my count and to go back and go through this loop again, go to and play frame one. So it's going to go through here, go count one, count two, count three like that. On frame one, we say a test to see how many times we've gone through this loop. And the test says, if, open bracket, time, text, period, text, equal, equals. You need two equal signs just for equality. If that equals zero, close bracket, open curly bracket, underscore parent. That means go back to frame one, underscore parent, period, go to, small letters, and stop, capital A, capital S, open bracket, three, close bracket, colon, and frame three is where it says you lose. And of course, we need our close curly bracket. So let's go back to scene one. And there's that frame three. Time is up, you lose. So let's just see if that will work. Okay, the reason it's doing this is because I'm not stopping on my frames. Let's go here to frame one, action script, open it up to code, and way up the top, click on that very first spot, enter, go back up here, open this side bracket, and put a stop in there. We now have to bring this time onto stage one, so we have the layer. Select the first frame, grab the time movie clip, and put it right under there. I'm going to need the instance name, so copy this, paste it in here. Let's check this out. Time is zero. Oh, we got to put some time in there, not zero. So open up the Times movie clip. Make sure the layer here is selected. Highlight this and put, let's put 20 seconds in here. 20 seconds. And if I look here, see it's back to zero. I got to click on this frame here, frame 12. Click on and hold it and drag it in there so the 20 seconds ends up in there. Open up the time movie clip, click on that frame, drag it over, right click, remove that frame. Now let's test it. And there's our time counting down. Let's hit one ship, it disappeared. We must hit two because our score is 10. We're down to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Game is over, and we don't want to see this when the game's over. So let's go back to frame, to scene one, and go back to here and click on frame two and drag it highlight those two frames, right click, remove those frames. There's my score, it's not there, it's not there. The only thing left now is we want to be able to play this game again. Make sure all the layers are locked. Insert a layer called button. Insert a blank keyframe on frame two. 
grab your oval tool so we can keep the black and red any which whichever you wish and right here make a relatively large oval pick up some text can't be red I want any color but red I'm gonna go just I'm gonna go black and I want something that's gonna fit in there I'm gonna try a 15 font and P L A Y A G A I N play a game static text selection tool drag that in and in my case I locked in and it pretty well fits tab it over a little bit pick up my selection tool click them off to the side highlight the whole thing up here to modify convert it to a symbol this time it's a button P L A Y underscore B T N now down here copy this instance name because I want to write text on it I want to write code on it copy paste it in here make sure that the button is highlighted and that it says play button here I'm on frame two of my buttons layer I'm going to open my actions panel I'm going to use script assist this plus sign gives me some I want the global function timeline control and go to on release this button I want to go to and there it is play frame one if I didn't like that I, if I need another frame I can come here and type it in but I want to go back to frame one so this is alright turn this off close it select the next frame here and there's that button it's still here and it's still coded. The last thing we need to do before we test it is to put the action script in to send us to the win, the win box, the win frame, should we win. At the very bottom of all this, there's my last curly bracket, there's my second last one. I'm going to insert another test and it says if open bracket score text period text if our score is equal equal two equal signs to 15 in our case we have three movie clips three objects we hit and five points each add up to 15 open curly bracket go to and stop and frame two is the frame that says you win and then my close curly bracket Let's try it, and this should be the game. Let it time out first. I'm going to hit one or two of these. And there's my score 10 because I hit two items. I don't want to hit this one yet. I want this to time out. You can put any time on it. You can put as many objects as you want. Time is up. Game's over. Let's play again. This time I want to hit them all. Hit that one. Hit that one. And I caught that one. Game over. You win. And it starts again. And I can play again. I think this is a very good game. Hope you've learned something from this t these tutorials. And I hope you use what you learned.